I would like to talk about today how they calculate your PAYG tax deduction. PAYG means pay as you go tax. So when you earning salary from an employer, how the employer or the ATO will calculate your tax amount from your taxable salary. And I will I will explain to you with the rates, current rates, and also how we calculate and what are the tax caps and everything. All right. Every financial year, ATO will publish the current tax rates and the tax brackets. So you can see in here, the first 18,200 is tax-free, which means that if your if your taxable income or the your gross salary is less than 18,200, which is tax-free, and you can submit the uh, there's when you submit your tax return, or if you are giving to uh, a tax accountant to submit your tax tax return on behalf of you. And uh, if you declare your taxable income is less than eighteen thousand two hundred, you will uh, you probably get a tax return, which means you if you pay taxes, you you can pay get paid that back from the ATO. And also the next bracket is eighteen thousand two hundred and one to forty five thousand, and you have to pay nineteen percent, which means nineteen cents each one dollar. And the next one, 45,000, 120,000. This is the most of the people, most of the employees in the Australia in this bracket, so which is you're paying 32%, 32.5%. So which means you're paying 32, 32.5% in this bracket, and also you're paying 19% on the top bracket. And But don't, don't forget you are, you are tax-free on the first bracket as well. And the next one is 120,000 to 180,000, 37 percent, 180,000 and over. You are paying 45 percent. So some people I heard that uh, I saw most of the people stop their earning some certain stage, with because and uh, they stop their part-time income because yeah, they have to pay more taxes. So it's up to their up to their uh, personal opinion but uh, I would like to be most of the people like to work hard and save some money and uh, this is the tax bracket of Australia in here you will see the, the details details of my summary previous I explained uh, which is the first 18,200 is tax free the next one is 18,201 to 45,000 which is the taxable component is 26,799 and you are taxable taxable rate is 19% so which mean the the dollar value of the tax amount is 5,091.81 cents and the third bracket is 45,220,000, which means the taxable component, taxable income is 74,999, and the taxable rate is 32%, 5%. So 32%, 5%, I just, ex I just put the, the cents value, which is 32 cents. And, uh, and once you multiply by, the seventy-four thousand or seventy-five thousand, you will get twenty-four thousand three hundred and seventy-four dollars tax return. So the cumulative tax at that stage is twenty-six thousand four hundred sixty-six. And if you're exceeding that salary, which means if you are getting a salary something about one hundred and twenty to one hundred and eighty thousand, which is the fourth bracket, and your taxable component is fifty-nine thousand. 999 so it's something around 60,000 and you are paying rate is 37 percent which is 37 cents and the once after that you get 22,199 so once you round up that is 22,200 something and the total tax at that stage is 51,666 so you are paying huge tax in that stage and if you're exceeding your salary, like most of the executives, CEOs, directors, the organization.
organization getting this kind of salary by exceeding the 180,000 the salary range and they are for example we get a uh, one of the executive salaries we think about 210,000 as per the gross salary and we deduct the 180,000 so the 30,000 will be taxable and 45% or 45 cents is the tax rate so someone getting 210,000 salary so that's the 65,166 is the taxable amount 65,600 is the total tax amount you are paying to the ATO so which that means if your salary is 210,000 you are paying 65,000 amount of uh, tax amount per year and if you break down to weekly you are paying this is the deduction from your gross salary amount so if you are getting paid by weekly you you should pay tax amount is 1253 and also make sure you should pay the Medicare levy as well which is 2% at the current rate so from your gross salary gross salary means you are a taxable gross salary and also the per hour rate so the, how, how to get the gross, gross salary is your hourly rate multiplied by number of hours you work weekly or fortnightly that's your gross salary for that particular week or fortnight and that multiple by 2% that's your Medicare levy and once you add that to the tax amount that is your total deduction that per week and also the fortnight most of the organization organization paying fortnightly and they the full tax deduction is $2,506 plus the 2 percent of the Medicare levy so 2667 the next one I will I will I'll give more example in your tax based on your income uh, level that we'll discuss later on before I talk about few examples there are multiple websites that you can find in the Google that uh, you can get more information and also uh, how there are some multiple calculators there which you can do it easily easy way just you need to put <coughs> you need to just put the number of hours and per hourly rates or fortnight how much you are getting per week how much you are getting or a salary package for example if yes uh, you get an offer, offer from an organization 75,000, 80,000, something. You can, if you once you put the 80,000, how much you are getting paid uh, after deduct the sell up to deduct the PAYG, and also mostly uh, when you are close into the income tax return filing, which is starting from July onwards, you better go to the ATO website. You should get more details from the ATO website about the tax rate what are the deductions what you can deduct from your salary and the um, what kind of expenses you can uh, claim from your income and also uh, in services australia website you can get the medicare levy rates and all the other information so as i say this is uh, the spreadsheet i prepare to uh, just a simple spreadsheet how you can get a figure so in here you can see the hourly rate and also number of hours you work so fortnight so fn means fortnight number of fortnights per year is 26 so in this example i would say uh, your hourly rate will be let's say 55 dollars per hour and so your fortnight salary will be 4180 which means multiplied by 76 hours per fortnight and which mean 38 hours for 38 hours standard hours uh, you are getting paid uh, weekly and your annual salary will be so that means if your rate if your hourly rate is 55 dollars your annual salary is 108,608 
and then everything. So this is excluding all your salary sacrifices you are getting in. Salary sacrifices, most of the non-profit organizing organizations or healthcare organization, they 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 getting a tax benefit. Um, we can talk about that one later on. Then uh, this is excluding these benefits. So that's the gross salary you are getting per year. So as I mentioned previously, the first 18,200 is tax free. So no tax rate in this row. The second amount is 18,000 to 45,000, which is the taxable component is 26,799. And uh, let's say we get an example so before the calculation let's say your hourly rate is 55 dollars per hour which means your annual salary is 108,608 so which means you are you are sitting in this bracket so what i did was just this plus equal select this one and remove these remove these weights so, which means you don't need the calculation for this rate because you are below this 180,000. So, the first, first and second bracket we have done. So, second bracket you are paying $5,091. Third bracket you are paying 108,000, which this is your gross salary minus 45,001, which means your taxable amount 63,679 multiplied by 32%. 32.5 percent that is the uh, 20,000 is the tax tax payable for that bracket so total tax payable at the end of the financial year is 25,787 so that's a simple calculation so if you are getting paid by weekly the tax tax amount is tax deduction is this 495 and also as I mentioned before your your medical allergy deduction is 41 dollars 80 cents so so total deduction is 534 which means your net salary will be fortnightly which means this is the fortnight salary you divided by that one into two and this is your deduction and your net salary will be this minus this which means 1552 so the same practice in here fortnightly you're getting paid so this total total deduction per year divided by 26 weeks then the two percent of the medicare in here so total deduction will be 1,075.43 fortnightly and your net salary will be this is your gross salary minus this amount your net salary you are getting paid to your bank is $3,104 so and also there, there are multiple calculations at the bottom so this is a simple spreadsheet I prepared to you will understand how this calculation work and if you mention this is the thirty six dollars per hour and you're getting paid fortnightly and you will sitting under this bracket which is seventy one thousand hundred and thirty six so you definitely under third bracket and this this is the how much you are getting deduct you 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 are need to pay to the ATO and uh, if you have a good tax return and uh, you if you have more expenses to deduct uh, you at the end of the financial year you can get a tax refund or uh, you might you may have to pay uh, more tax if you're having more income than one job so uh, this is a basic calculation of the tax Thanks for watching the video and uh, please subscribe the channel and give a like button or if you have any comments please 
right at the bottom and now we'll uh, I will put this spreadsheet to you download and uh, feel free to give more feedback if you can please thank you very much